Hi, you're going to move ahead from this today and go on to the next series of things. So I'm going to draw this again one more time and show you how it's done. So the first thing I told you is you want to have a vertical line somewhat straight. Okay, once you have this vertical line that you have drawn, you can draw a curve. The curve is like this. It should be a very shallow curve. Okay, remember that both your central incisors are going to be on a flat line. So it's got to be a shallow curve, right? And then to the two sides are two straight regions. Raise this, two straight regions, easy way to draw. And once you've got this straight regions done, you know that your central incisors are going to come here. So last time I told you up one, up one, down would look nice. So we're going to just do the central incisors like that. A nice U, right? A very small singulum and yeah. And the other central incisor here. Yeah. Then lateral incisor, of course, you want it to be a little, bo a little more inside. So a little in, smaller tooth. Right, so there we go, and of course, can I now in this drawing? I have got my uh, edge too far out, so I'm going to just shorten it. It's very easy, you can make any modifications as quickly as you like. So, I'm just going to go in for my canine here. This needs to be more rounded, this is more sharp. So, canine there, and it's going to be larger than your lateral, so it's going to look like that. And here for this canine, remember that we're going to give it a little bit of a point, right? So we're going to just go with a small point there and go in with a good singulum. Yeah, so that's your canine. And from here, you're going to have your line that goes sideways. So that's done. Now in, the, in these teeth, the posteriors, how are we going to design them? The posteriors are going to definitely going to be like that, right? That's going to be your premolar, but you don't want to go outside this line. You want to stay within this line. So remember to keep it within that line. So going on, you have this line that's going sideways. You want to get this premolar in here. So the premolar should not be jutting out too much because from the front, the visual will be bad. So keep the premolar like that. And a nice round tooth almost the same size as your canine okay slight tapering not too much slightly rounded here slightly sharp here okay so the premolar is easy you just draw a line in the center it's a maxillary premolar and this should be good enough for the depiction of a premolar okay again you can give a little bit of uh, design there but keep it all light and mild, not looking too too dark. I'm trying to darken it for the video's sake, but I hope that is clear. The way to draw a molar is to just give it a small S curve there and keep this. Remember, they have two cusps, so keep this rounded. Remember, the premolar is going to the sorry, the molar is going to be somewhat square, so don't make it extra long. Keep it keep it reasonably squarish. Okay, so that's the key in drawing a uh, molar. So for the molar here, basically you're going to have, you're going to have a, a groove running. So you don't run it from, as, as always, we don't draw the, draw the grooves from the edge of the tooth. So just keep it short of that edge and keep a groove running that it goes down. Okay. And that is going to be, that is going to be to one side like that. And of course the marginal ridge is going to come there. So like that. Okay. And here the same thing don't touch it just go down you're going to have a marginal ridge here and you can have a ridge that goes like that and of course these two the mild connection needs to be there so it looks natural right so you have one two three four and this is the uh, the ridge the connecting ridge okay so basically this is good enough for a maxillary molar if you want to do a small outline you can do it like this but I think this is all unnecessary. This should be enough. I hope it is clear. Let me try to zoom it in for you. I hope that is clear what I've done. 
right? So this is what we are looking at. Okay, and this is what you should be doing. The second molar is also going to be the same. Again, following this line of, you know, our line that is there, you're going to have the second molar also. A slight S like I told you before. Remember that it's not going to be very, very rectangular. It's going to be more square. So, and here is, you're going to have a two cusps. So it's going to be like that and close it like that. Now in here, this is your outline. Okay. And here, obviously, you don't want to touch this corner. You want to just stay short of that and come down and move this side into a ridge like that. And here, you don't touch this corner, come down, you move and you touch like this and you can give us a so two molars and two premolars and of course, the rest of the arch is fixed there. So there's a maxillary arch. You can do the same for the other side and that should be done. Of course, if this looks a little too prominent, you can reduce it down. You can, you know, make your modifications if you need to uh, and, you know, make it look a little bit better. Overall, whichever way you feel it's done. So this can be done fast and I can show you how it's done fast. So you are sure about how it's done. I'll show you right now. So starting from the beginning, very quick drawing here. Just a line. Okay, make sure that you have a slight curve. Make sure you have an arch going out. Here also an arch going out, right? Once this is done, you can see once it is done, you can go for your central incisor. Now you can space these, right? If you space them out, right? One, two, it'll be equal. So you want to make it slightly less than equal. So it's, there we go, one. And the same thing on this side as well, so that there is no confusion. Right? And this, of course, is going to be your central incisor. Yeah, that's one. Okay, lateral incisor. Lateral incisor, canine, obviously canine has to be larger than the lateral incisor, yeah, keeping this end sharp and this end rounded, here of course we need to have a small head for that, don't connect these two. Keep it unconnected. A larger singulum for a prominent canine, right? Larger singulum for a prominent canine, and that's your canine. Okay. Now, what about the premolar? Premolar comes within this. So, here in the pre, when it comes to premolar, remember you're going to have to take it a little in, right? So, I'm going to just draw it a bit in there within that. So doesn't look too obvious, remove the line a little bit, here you go, okay, try to keep it a good size like the canine, nice deep U, right, and for the premolar, remember, you want to have, for that, you want to have So you want to have a small notch here. Don't connect these. But then next what you're going to do is you're going to draw one. Right? And you're going to draw this. So that will be your first premolar. And your second premolar is going to come in the same direction. Rub this line off. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Right? And again here, small one. Don't connect these. So you have a second premolar. 
and then you're going to go in for the molar molar a slight s like i told you slight s keep it keep it square don't make it too much of a uh, rectangle keep it square yeah and from here a line that goes no. and opens up this and from here a line that goes and opens up into the marginal ridge and that is it don't make sure that none of these touch the border outlines so it looks natural right so that becomes your first molar and your second molar in the same vein smaller tooth small s small s right here we go here you are right so first molar okay slightly slightly larger just to make it look a little square yeah right, there you go so you have first molar here also you can make it looks much better if you try to keep it a square yeah so here you go you have your one side maxillary arch clearly done right so you can i have made it a bit darker because i mean you may not be able to see but you can keep it light right you can keep it light without much of shading and stuff like that so you can actually uh, draw your components for rpd as you are starting to work on that right so this should be more or less how it looks easy way of drawing these things right should be that so we'll look at the uh, mandibular video in a bit thank you so much see you soon